Welcome to Raven on the Rock, Denver's way to expose unique talent and original music from local artists. With your host, Rockin' Raven. You're going to enjoy what you are about to hear on Raven on the Rock. Brought to you by Rockin' Raven Productions and The Scoop 303. Thank you for tuning back into Raven on the Rock. I'm in the studio today with Shelvis and the Roustabouts. Well, two Roustabouts. Hello. How y'all doing? Uh, we're good. great. <laughs> good. We're very rousty. Yep. You are very rousty. <laughs> yep, tonight we are. A little bit. So, <laughs> so we got Lori, a.k.a. Shelvis. We have Dave. And we have Kelly. Yay. Hello. Yay. Yay. And we're going to play some songs, but they're going to play some live songs, too. Right on. Yeah. That's good. And guess what happened today? Can I tell them? Go ahead. Can I use the G word? You can use the G word. <laughs> <laughs> Lori, a.k.a. Shelvis, was a grandma today. Yay. And she is adorable. Did you put that picture on Facebook? Well, no. I had it on there, and then Laura said to take it down because Amanda will kill me. <laughs> that is a beautiful picture. It's a very beautiful picture. She's a beautiful girl. I am a photographer, and that is the best I picture know, ever. I, I, You know, I got to listen to the mom, you know, the real mom. The birth mom. Oh, I'm yeah. just a stepmom, so. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just cut. I'll, I'll, I'll crop it for you, and okay. we'll just put baby Chelsea on there. Baby Chelsea. Chelsea Morgan. No, no. Chelsea Madison. Why do I want to keep saying Morgan? I don't know, everybody. I get that confused myself. Madison. Chelsea Madison. 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 She's beautiful. She is beautiful. We are going to have fun today. Yeah. I'm so excited you guys are here. We uh, had a very long sound check. <laughs> it was fun. We had lots of fun. So uh, Lori has her little drum set in this little studio. Yeah, brand new. But it sounds good. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm-hmm. And rich, little... and Dave is all hooked up with his guitar. What kind of guitar is that? I don't know. What is it? A PV. A PV. <laughs> <laughs> it's her guitar, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a JFEX. Okay, so I... it's not his guitar. It's no, her guitar. I use her guitar because. It looks so cool. It, it does look nice. cool. I like it. It does look very cool. But I've got different guitars that I play usually. At home. <laughs> it's a hollow body. He likes that sound. Yeah, yes. it's a good. It's a good rockabilly sound, you know. Yeah, and Kelly has her bass. That's is it your bass, really? It's my. It is it really my is bass. Yours? I promise. I paid for it. It's my, little, <laughs> <laughs> it's my little Ibanez SG mahogany body, and for my tiny little hands, it yeah. fits very well. Yeah, I like my Dean for that too. Yeah, it makes a difference. It does. Well, it did. It did. <laughs> I will play it again, though. Absolutely. Yes. I will never play the flute, though. You know, I, I was born into the flute and fell into the bass, so... Yeah, yeah but she plays other instruments, too, so... Yeah. She oh, yeah. plays keyboards, back vocals. She yeah, she back does play keyboards. Yeah, so she's yeah. multi-talented. And yeah. I played bassoon for a while. Bassoon. Bassoon? Bassoon. <laughs> Not a big call for bassoonists and no? rock bands, no. Huh, what else do you play, Dave? Um, this and that. I play you, bass you as play well. You play bass too? Yeah, we switch off every once in a we while. We pass kinda it need around. To fill in around. Yeah, we pass things around. Oh. My flute doesn't get passed around, though. No, no. I bet. No, I bet I it doesn't. I, I keep hoping. <laughs> So, Laurie, what else do you play? I'm just a percussionist. I play drums yeah. most of the time, yeah. I know three chords on the acoustic, but that's just for show when I'm doing shelves. You know, her mm-hmm. voice is an instrument. Her oh, yeah. Her voice is an instrument, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it, when the Italian temper comes out. <laughs> <laughs> I know this half is Italian of me. Oh. This half is German. Oh, that's even worse. Do they fight? <laughs> Plus, we do fight with each other, yes. <laughs> I'm constantly fighting with myself. Yeah. Plus, I'm a Leo. And a oh. Chinese tiger. Oh, oh, there you go. Well, I'm a cancer Leo. But I'm like the yeah. sweetest person ever. Leos are cool people, man. Just don't yeah. piss me off. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Don't poke the tiger. Yeah. <laughs> That's my job. That's right. That's your job. <laughs> She's the tiger. Yeah. 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 Lori's losing her mic. Time. Lori is going to be on her knees in a minute. It's going down below. It's going down really low. You know, low. her voice is low, but <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means. Yeah. So, so Lori, you start you start telling me about, um, I want to hear this story again that you told me today. Lori showed up today to bring me a um, CD, Yeah. and I was still in my pajamas. Scotty Brown knows that, though. 
<laughs> well, Scotty asked me why I don't videotape these, and then I said, because i got to get out of my pajamas then. <laughs> but Lori was telling me a story today uh, when she was eight. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right, so you tell that, and I'm going to come run over there and fix your mic. Okay. Well, it was 1975. Um, year before that, you know, my mom... I had a hard time in school with some, some my spelling situation. And so she said, if you get an A in spelling, I'll take you to go see Elvis. I'm like, okay. So I worked real hard, you know, and um, I waited for a year and no Elvis. I was like, this is, a, this is a bummer, you know. And then my birthday came around, which was, it was July 15th, actually. I remember that exactly the day. And she dressed me up in these leotards. You know, leotards, how they are, just irritate the hell out of you, especially in July. And um, and then um, this little skirt, my hair was up in little pink curls. And um, she said, well, we're going to go to the, the museum. You know, the museum. I like to dress up to be in a museum, the dress and all that. So we pull up to the Coliseum, which is in Nassau, in New York. And um, I get out of the car, and there's all these women, like there's no kids. It's just like grown-ups. And back then, the women wore their hair really beehive, you know, like really 70s, big. big hair, big earrings, you know, bell bottoms, bright colors, like they were way out, you know. Like Tammy Wynette, remember uh-huh. Tammy Wynette, that hair? Yeah. I'm like, what's this all about, you know? So my mother takes me in, and I see an Elvis book. And I go, Mom, that lady's got an Elvis book. And she goes, I think that's the guy who's playing here today. And I just lost it, you know. <laughs> and at that time, my mother was uh, married to a, a Newark police officer, Bill Provost, and he uh, got really good tickets of, like, backstage, like, second row up to the back. And Elvis would always walk around the stage, always, to, to see everybody. So he brought me down, and um, he saw me. I was, uh, you know, my dad, and he said to the security officer, bring her up here, man. And um, he lifted me up and he, you know, gave me a little peck and put this big blue scarf on me. And uh, that was the end of that. (laughs) And here I am singing Elvis. Here you are. (laughs) And you're doing it so well, too. There's not too many female Elvises out there, you know. No, I mean, there's some of them, but not a lot that uh, portray it exactly the way it should be portrayed. You know. And you can hear that little bit of Elvis come out when you said, bring her here now. Bring her, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it come right out, just like that. I so. love, Lori, when you're talking, yeah. we can hear the leather. Leather crinkling. Can you Creaking. hear that? Yeah. Yep. It's her leather coat. Yeah. yeah, Joe just texted me and said a little bumping, but not bad. I don't think it's bumping, Joe. I think it's Lori's leather jacket. It's my leather, it's my leather coat. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. I could take it off. You want to take it off? No. Okay. No, you're okay. All it right. just adds character to the show. All right. So uh, tell me how you how you got started with the whole Elvis thing. Well, um, pretty much, you know, my family has entertainment, you know. In, like my mother was a dancer. What kind she, of dancer? She was a, a rocket, a junior rocket and a rocket. And my... <clears throat> My father, who I can't speak of right now, is a famous singer, um, and he uh, had a number number one hit record. So, but because of rights, I can't really discuss it on the radio right now. But she's such a tease. Yeah. <laughs> I know who it is. Yeah, you know. I who do it is. too, but yeah, we can't so, say. We can't say. So, even though I have the Muha name, um, it's like I have two brothers, Muha, but I'm from the other guy. So that explains it right there and then. <laughs> What that's all about. <laughs> okay, so how'd we get to Elvis? Um, just, you know, I grew up singing all the time, and I started very early, um, between 9 or 10, uh, really taking it seriously, and then, and then I did a, a little thing for my, my cousin. I did a fashion show in high school, and I was in the newspaper. And back then, I, lip, I lip-sync because, you know, I was a little kid, you know. So I had the moves and all that kind of thing. And my mother made me a costume. And uh, I still have it. Yes. It's hanging up in the studio. Do you? Yeah. Yep. yep. Very cool. Yeah. So, and then from there, I went to a lot of contests um, and won quite a few in Atlantic City at the Trump Plaza Hotel and the Tropicana. 
And then I got a show on the Yak the Yak Cafe TV show, which used to be a club in Seaside Heights, New Jersey, which I'm going back to do their reunion in 2016. And uh, that became very popular in the Shore area. And then from there, I went to New York to try acting and comedy and, you know, just do the whole gamut, the whole thing. You know, I just want to be in show business. And um, I remember when I was 16, my mother took me to the improv and it was amateur night and uh, I did a lot of impressions like I do John Travolta I do yeah. you know Rocky Balboa I did a, Living Newton John I did a lot of voices back then and uh, you had to pick a number from 1 to 10 out of a hat and I got number 10 <laughs> and uh, I was the youngest person to perform and uh, they loved it and um, I got a standing ovation because I was so young being able to do those impressions you want me to do um, one for you? which you? All right, this is John Travolta. Okay. So I'll tell you what, it's great to be here tonight. It's, it's very hard to, uh, I don't know, it's very hard to uh, be in this studio because it's very small. But, of course, it's, it's, it's fantastic to be with Kelly and, 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 and Dave. And it's, 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 it's wonderful to be here, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's awesome! Yeah. How fun! So. How do you learn how to do that? Well, you know, I, you know, like I said, your voice is an instrument, so you, you craft it, you watch a lot of TV, you, the movements of everybody, like Tom Jones, Buddy Holly, all the characters that I do, I just watch them over and over again, mimic them over and over again until I got the character down and the vocal. Quite, not exactly, but pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, so. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's over here giggling. I do that a lot. And we don't even have any liquor. No, we don't. We're drinking water here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so how'd you get uh, hooked up with these roustabouts over here? You know, um, my first roustabout is Mr. Dave Duran here. Uh-huh. And, um, um, roustabout you know, number one. <laughs> that's right, roustabout number one. <laughs> and Laura Whitlock, who's my partner, mm-hmm. she also uh, is a, a roustabout. She plays acoustic. Mm-hmm. Um, electric acoustic and um, she said we should just get a band and do it live I said yeah I think that's a good idea so we uh, we asked Dave to come on board and he did and then we had another gentleman uh, James Middleton play bass mm-hmm. and Rodney uh, Simon RJ mm-hmm. my drummer who is fantastic drummer mm-hmm. and um, we went and got our first gig at Herman's remember that yeah and uh, they loved it yeah and it shut off from there I mean um it was just really successful from there, and then we just added more people, came mm-hmm. in and out of the band, from um, Rodney to James Middleton, uh, Rock Eubanks was our bass player for a while, great musician, uh, Dave Freshman did uh, also, you did an interview with him? I did. He's part of the Roustabouts as well, he did Rhythm and Lead, um, and then of course Kelly uh, Sheridan, and then uh, right now we have Oz, which is Gary... Um, uh, Osborne. Osborne, right. Nice guy. Yeah. Great he plays guy. bass now. He yeah. plays bass now. He's new. Yeah. And then uh, we have um, Mr. Doc. Mark um, Doyle, Doc, and uh, he used to play with Chuck Berry. Very nice. And that's nice. where he got the nickname Doc, so he's nice. a great drummer. Yeah. And then we have different musicians that come in and fill in, and then Ed Downs was an added uh, lead guitar player because I needed that uh, James Burton sound because Elvis had two guitar players. Mm-hmm. And uh, Scotty Moore was the rockabilly sound that mm-hmm. Dran brought to the table, and he's so good at it. I mean, he's just a really wonderful guitar Scotty. player. And uh, I needed that sound. He he got it. He, he he gets the feeling, the Memphis sound that I need. Yeah. Where other people can't do it. They just don't get it. Right. And so Dran is my Scotty Moore. And then um, Ed Downs came in, and even though we had freshmen playing, and he was a unique player, he's a fantastic player, um, uh, Ed Downs is a huge James Burton fan, so uh, he's very bluesy and very very hard blues. And uh, James Burton's all about that. So I needed somebody with that raw lead player, right. uh, and um, so we had him in the band. And people are coming and going all the time. A roustabout can be anybody. Yeah. Um, from Dave Freshman to Rodney, they're still roustabouts, right. as far as I'm concerned. But uh, and everybody adds to the band. Mm-hmm. And then we have Susan Connor, who does my Olivia Newton John. She's back vocals, mm-hmm. and she sings, and she does the tambourine. We're teaching her anyway. <laughs> if she can find her, <laughs> yes, she can find it. Very sweet gal. 
and she does our harmony and our backup as well with uh, Kelly and um, and Dave here. So, should we play that song? Sure. It's pretty weird. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like listening to John Travolta. Well, we're gonna we're gonna listen to this. All right. All right. Here okay. we go. Okay. Shelvis as Travolta. All right. Stranded at the driving. Brandon, a fool. What will they say? Monday at school. Sandy, can't you see I'm in misery? We made. Now we're apart There's nothing left for me Love has flown All alone I sit and wonder Why, why, why Why You left me Oh, Sandy Darling, you hurt me real bad. No, it's true. But baby, you gotta believe when I say I'm helpless without you. Right. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to play more. Yeah. We just need to stop talking and just play songs. Yeah. That is very cool. So how did the whole John Travolta thing come? Just, um, just from your, your well, no, impression? What hap- well, no, what happened was I, I when Elvis passed away, I was really upset about that. And um, I needed a, a new hero person. Mm-hmm. And I used to watch Welcome Back Carter quite a bit, and I said, you know, this guy, Vinnie Barberino, is, phew, he's going to be a big star. Plus, he's from your stomping ground. He's from my stomping ground. Yeah, he's Inglewood, New Jersey. He's from Inglewood. So, and, you know, I met him uh, here in Colorado in uh, 90, I think it was 96, uh, because they knew I did him in the show. Mm-hmm. So, and um, he's a real nice guy. And what I did is I started impersonating him. You know, and I got him down to a science. You know? Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and him being Italian and from Jersey, I'm Italian yeah. from Jersey. Um, we just kind of just, we just fit, you know. And uh, I perfected him so well that that's one of the favorites in the show. And the pompadour. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the, the big gold pomp. Yeah. <laughs> cool. She does it great. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. it's funny because she's got this long, long black hair. Yeah. And a lot of people are like, "How did you? I thought she had a long hair. Yeah. How does she do that? That looks great. You do Stage it. makeup. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So funny. So, what can I play next? Um, your choice. Maybe play something from the Roustabouts. I think that'd be kind of nice. That we have. Mm-hmm. That would be nice if you just tell me what it is, because <laughs> these aren't these aren't labeled Roustabouts. I just put them all on here. You know, I was going to format the show tonight, and then I saw all these songs that you gave me. Well, do you have the uh, 
the paper in front of you so I can take a look at it? The paper? The, 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 um, the disc. The uh, paper disc. I do. I do, I do. Now, which one do you have? Okay, let me grab that from you. I put them both on there. Oh, you did? Okay. Yes. So... So, Dave, what do you do while she's looking for that? What do you do besides the roustabouts? Do you do anything? Oh, uh, no. I just sit at home and, you know, you do. look at the ceiling. No, no he does I, uh, so, so, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, you know, of course I got a day job. <laughs> at least now I do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, I'm a programmer by trade. So, oh, nice. you know, computer type stuff. I just went, I kind of went for the last year and finished up a degree in physics and did that kind of stuff. So it was fun, you know. Huh. So I got two boys. Yeah. Take care of them. Throw things at them. <laughs> they throw things at me. Yeah. We, Do stuff like that. Uh, you know, I on occasion will have to leave rehearsal and go pick up my son. I come back and he's putting in their uh, kitchen faucet. <laughs> so he does that as well. <laughs> I'm apparently I'm a handy man too. So. I, She's I like, just thought that was funny. Your our, our our bandmates have jobs that help us out otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> She was like, she had the faucet sitting there, and I was like, you know how easy this would be to put in? And she's like, yeah, I have, no, I don't, no, no, no. How, how easy would that be? You know? Here you go. Like, Here, all in. you have to do is take this and plug in. Yeah. And if you just clean this off, yeah, you can do that. And then next thing I know, I'm, of course, putting it all together. And she's like. Yeah, but that's that's part of being a family in this band. Right. We, we, we're not just bandmates. We, um, at the practice, we sit around and we talk. We enjoy some, some spirits and some food. Mm-hmm. I'm always cooking for them. Yes, I know. And giving goodies all yes. the time. <laughs> Making sure they they are taking care of. We have been through a lot together, all of us. Yeah. So. Pretty much, yeah. The next song I like you to play is Folk Salad, oh, which yeah. is uh, which is the um, I think number two. Who's playing bass on this on one? The, um, on Poke, the uh, on Poke the Poke Live at Lanny's. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only one I got. Yep. All right. Now, who's who's playing on this? All of you guys? Um, who's playing at Lanny's? The first show, I think it was uh, Rock Eubanks played bass. Right. And then uh, the that rest of us. Keys. And then uh, Frank Diaz was our drummer at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a drummer. Uh, and he was a drummer with the show then. And uh, the rest of us are the same. Like, Susan's the same. I'm, you know, of course, me and Kelly and Dran and Laura. Okay. So... Well, here we go. Get ready for this one. Okay. Goes out in the field, kind of looks like a turnip. Everybody calls it poke salad. And that's poke salad. We get out in the field, we pick it up, cook it up for supper. We knew we'd do all right. Down in Louisiana, where the other good is worse than me. I swear to the world, I swear that girl, make the other days go tame. Oh, Saturday. I said, I get a guy so great. Everybody said it was the same But well, my mama wasn't working on a team mm-hmm. A spiteful, straight-toed woman she was 
Every day before supper time We go down to the pork shack Pick up a pork salad Carry it home in a pork salad Pork salad in it I said again, you got your granny Hey, hey Everybody said it was a shame But well, my mama wasn't working on a chain Mean, vicious woman she was. Was a little poke salad to the bed. Was a little mean little woman. Was a little poke salad to the bed. Was a little mean little woman. Let me hear it. I want that Mississippi sound. Where is it? Let me hear it. That's a little Memphis for you. What do you think about that, huh? Very nice. <laughs> we, we let her go pee at the end of I, the evening. Yeah, well, we that did. was nice of you. Yeah, man. That was very nice of you. You never know what's going to come out of my mouth when I'm, you know. No, you don't. <laughs> so, so Dave and I, being backup singers, um, end up having to know how to sing vowels really well because we're not quite sure what words. Vowels or bowels? <laughs> vowels. <laughs> with, with V as in Victor, vowels. Because we're not quite, yeah, wrong type of. I said I had to go to the P, not the other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But we're never quite sure what's coming out of our mouth. So, so when we sing definitely backup, not bows. No, no. We I don't know how to sing harmony to that. So, so we just kind of a i o. Like it sounds good with it. It'll work. Yeah. Kind of look at the shape of her mouth and make yeah. sure. That well, we're the, the, great, it. the great part about this show is that it's uh, improvisation. And one thing Elvis did on stage, and a lot of entertainers do not do this at all, oh. is he, he was funny. And he was, yeah. he was entertaining. He was comical. And he did crazy things. Right. You know? And uh, nothing was, like, today they have special effects and everything's perfect. Like a Beyonce show or if you see right. shows today, everything's yeah. perfect. Right. Even if you see the old timers, they're still perfect. Mm -hmm. Nobody's having fun anymore. Yeah, and uh, I miss that. You mm -hmm. know, when Elvis brought that on stage, that's why people loved him because they felt like it, he was singing to them mm -hmm. personally. Because I, I remember when I saw him in concert uh, in the middle of the show, um, he had them turn all the house lights on, and he was sitting on the edge of the stage with his legs just hanging along. He goes, "You know, man, I see all you all the time, but you never, you never realize how many people out there." Put that big light in my face, but I want to see your faces. And he just Aww. would look around, and he just sit there for a good five, ten minutes, man. Yeah? Yeah. That's how he was. So talking about not being perfect, but <laughs> <laughs> bringing you into the show, we did mm. a show at Herman's, mm. and I honestly remember looking at Dave. I was, I was standing on the opposite side of the stage, and we started a song, and I'm looking at Dave, and Dave's looking at me, 
and I'm looking at Dave, and I have no idea which song we're playing, but it's not the song on the song list. And so I'm trying, I'm <laughs> yep. going through the 70, what is it? What is it? 70 songs trying to figure out what are they doing? What are they doing? And I, I honestly don't even know what song the drummer was doing. So she turns around and she does the big, you know, stop it sign and puts her arms out akimbo and we all stop. <laughs> And she goes, ready? And the couch is back in, and we start the song. Yeah. And everyone... And you still don't know what you no, said? No, no, no. We, we oh. went to the right... At that point, we did. We went to the right song, but everyone thought it was great. It was this big cacophony. They thought, or, yeah, they thought, <laughs> they, they thought it was part of the act. And, well, it, it was. was. It was. And I was just like, stop. And everybody just stopped. <laughs> One, two, three. It was like, perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Some of the some of the crazy stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. It comes off really well because yeah. the audience really gets sucked in, you know, into the show. They, you know, we make them part of the show. Oh, a little yeah. bit That's of important. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, I tell you, even like the other, like you do the Tom Jones stuff. It's oh just God, amazing it's to crazy. see. I mean, I can't even play on stage. I mean, I'm up there and there's just women fill the stage, <laughs> just there, and I'm I'm sitting here trying to play with my guitar neck next to my face like this and playing. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, all right. I wasn't even in you know when I was a teenager that would have been like a dream. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. You do, know? You, do you get undergarments thrown at you? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. I got I got to tell you a funny story. Um, Kelly knows Billy Van Curen. Yeah. And um, he's in the Santa Fe band. And the bass player for Santa Fe band, Dave, made this comment. <laughs> Were you there that night? I don't know. Oh, no. This was at West Hill Grill. I um, may have been there. He, he, he made a comment about, about Tom Jones or something. So the next show, I went over to ARC and I bought like 12 <laughs> bras and, and underwear. <laughs> And during the show, <gasps> I snuck around and yeah. I handed them all out, and that we so all funny. threw them at Dave. <laughs> <laughs> he must have loved that. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. He did. Except for one time, <clears throat> I got a big pair of tidy whities. They were men to <laughs> wear. And yes. I, just, I opened them up, and they were clean. They were. The guy, they were knew, how, the guy knew how to do laundry. He was yeah. okay. No, no stains <laughs> in the back. I. No razor stripes. No though. razor stripes, man. I didn't. I didn't actually want to know where those came from, though. Uh. <laughs> we, uh, we didn't know who to give them back to. No, so. we didn't. But they were pretty big pair of underwear. We still have them. We do have them. We hang the hang stuff up in, in the, the studio. studio. That's what yeah. we do. There you go. Yeah, like I figured just stuff. in case I might need them. You know, That's I right. Know. As ear warmers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, so what are some other hysterical memories you have? I don't know, guys. Can you think of a few that have happened through uh, the performances that we've had? Oh, God, uh, the Tom Jones stuff, when that sock goes falling down your leg. What? That was pretty funny. What? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, that was pretty good. Uh, that was a, what happens that was a good is, is uh, there's an intro to when I... Because I dress on stage, and uh-huh. I change out of character on stage. Right. So I roll up this, uh, this, um, I don't know, piece towel. of piece of towel, and I stick it in my pants <laughs> on stage to make it look like you know Tom I got a post, a post from my pants, like right. Tom Jones did, you right. know. And one time it fell down <laughs> out of my shoe. <laughs> yeah. So I picked it up and said, "Anybody needs a tissue?" You know, and it's like I blew up my nose and I threw it out. It's funny. Oh yeah, yeah. I hear a fuzzing in the room. I hear a fuzzing in the room. You hear um, something? Yeah, it's something out here. Uh, that's okay. Mm, Ooh. Except that. <laughs> Somebody taking a bath? I hope not. I no, no, it's, it's in the, it's in the. Yeah. I think no, it is in here. It's the water. Uh, it's just oh, water. Yeah. Either the dogs turn the water on outside, or my roommate jumps in the shower. Oh, <laughs> that's, okay. that's nice. It's okay. You can just. Well, pull it up at least on we your... can just say Tom Jones has an effect on people. I know. I guess, <laughs> I guess hanging the big on-air signs on the door, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. How about if we play a song and I run up and see what the heck that is? That'd okay, be awesome. that'd be great. That'd be good. <laughs> what are we gonna play? Heartbreak? So, yeah, play Heartbreak. That's oh, a good one. It. We love that song. All right. I'm going to play Heartbreak, and then i got to do a couple of commercials, because, <laughs> you know, without them, I wouldn't be me. So. That's right. All right. Here's Heartbreak. I don't know the tender. No one else can do that, because I'll make everybody go to sleep. Yeah, we take So, what else can we do? Okay. It's my least favorite song. It's like four verses, and it makes me sleep. All right, Elvis. Let's, let's get moving. That's why they call you folks. 
So we got this one instead. Well, since my baby left me, I found a place to dwell. It's down in a lonely street, I pray to turn around. I'll be so lonely, baby. I'll be so lonely. I'll be so lonely, I can die. How fun. I gotta <laughs> yeah. I gotta get to one of you guys' shows. Yeah, you gotta see it. It well, is a lot of fun. And y'all out there gotta get to their show too. And you know, I think the big thing is is that, you know, we're up on stage, of course, she's infectious. You know, she she's got a big show and everything like that. But it's fun for us too. A lot oh, of yeah. you know, we're up on stage and it's a blast. Yeah. Right. You know, I mean, it can be stressful and stuff. You don't know what's happening next, just but that's watching, part of enjoying Just you watching know? you guys listen to the songs. And Kelly over here, did you pee your pants yet? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I've got great Kegels. <laughs> I mean, they're just sitting here laughing so hard. And so you had asked about some funny things, and there are so many times where we played a show up at Rockabilly's up north, mm-hmm. and yeah. great venue, just oh, yeah. wonderful fans where I've had to stand guard at the bathroom and Lori goes in to use it because oh, yeah. she's in character. <laughs> right. And so, but, but honestly, people have no idea she's a woman. Oh, really? yeah. Some people get really, Ooh. yeah, they don't, they're like, what? what? Yeah, they get really very confused. Them. confused. Yeah. Can't look at her sideways and like, yeah. Why the hell is she going yeah. in a woman's yeah. bathroom? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. even with the name Shelvis, they don't get it. Yeah. Right? I'm like, hello. Yeah. It's a- Have you ever gone in the men's bathroom? No. You should. I know, but I really know. freak them out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mind going to the men's bathroom, but I do mind the smell in that bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, Lori, I'd go in the men's bathroom, and if there's men in there, I would just like whip out your towel and put it on the counter yeah, no kidding, right? and then walk in the stall. <laughs> she doesn't wear the towel all the time. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Only during Tom Jones. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. clears throat> too cute. Yeah. All right. Well, I got I to gotta do a couple of commercials here and we will be right back with more Shelvis and these rousty roustabouts over here. <laughs> At the Tailgate Tavern and Grill. Enjoy happy hour specials every day, seven days a week from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Don't forget Wednesday night at the Tailgate Tavern is karaoke. Sign up starts at 8. Sunday, band auditions are from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. And don't forget, sin night, 
Service industry employees get two for one on wells, drafts, and bottles from 6 p.m. to close on Sunday. A pay stub, name tag, or valid ID is required. The Tailgate Tavern and Grill is located at 19552 East Main Street in Parker, Colorado. Hey, this is Billy Van Kieran from the Santa Fe Band. You're listening to Raven on the Rock. More cowbell. Ha, 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 See? Ah, that is my cowbell. You have your own cowbell. Oh, right. right. More yeah, cowbell. Too. Look at that. I it's have got a, a handicap drumstick. I'm so you don't throw it at people. Well, because I get chocks in my hand, and I wanted oh. to play with Dreamboat Annie on my birthday, mm. and so I rigged that so I could play the cowbell still. That's mm. fantastic. I should market that, huh? You should. Yeah, actually, Handy that's cow. probably not a bad idea. <laughs> Well, I, for all drummers, I played with some drummers who tend to throw things because playing oh, yeah. bass, they tend to throw stuff at me yeah. <laughs> accidentally. Yeah, no, or so they accidentally on purpose. Yeah, yeah, I throw things at you. It's not. No, I never. That's, <laughs> those darn picks, you guys, get me in the forehead. Yeah, we had a little. We had a little almost. Uh, frantic moment before the show yeah. Dave turned his guitar upside down and was shaking it and we were all wondering why Oh, but yeah. he did not lose his guitar I pick did not in there. lose my pick yeah. no it was on the floor it that would have been fun it was the internationally <laughs> understood dance though of where's my pick when you're a guitarist where's my pick? everyone everyone knows what that dance like I'm shaking is. my guitar like it's an extra sketch over my head <laughs> yeah. reset reset gotta clear that off reset you see why I got these roustabouts you I see know, what I'm talking they're about perfect yeah yeah, it's just not about the talent, the musical talent. It's about the attitude. Well, that. yeah, and like I said, the the chemistry in this band is really hot. Yeah, you know, it's almost too hot because <laughs> we 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 tend to also get on each other's nerves. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Sometimes. Really? Yeah. Never. Sometimes. They didn't tell you, Dave, did that they? Never have happens in the. But band. Um, you know, I mean, there's always a little bit of band drama, and but at the end of the, you know practice we sit down together and yeah. we yeah. become just friends well, sure. you know what i mean so sure. um but some of the players don't you know some mm-hmm. of the players are just i'm i gotta go yeah um for the most part um you're either in it like a family or you're just part of the right picture because if you're not part of the kind of chemistry it's not gonna work no you know but there's value in but you know, being a human being and knowing that we all excel and then we all have stumbles, and yeah. you know, we can take our own butt kickings when we need it. And mm-hmm. I've gotten my butt kicked and kicked a few butts, so <laughs> yeah. but yeah. that's all good because it's all around. And, right. and I right. would expect people to keep See, me, yeah, I've been just great. I mean, I just he's perfect. Yeah, he's, never had yeah, a problem. Dave is no. he looks back. perfect. Yeah, yeah. I just look at he's the got the button down shirt, yeah, and look, the hair is all They told me to dress up and then. And then I'm wearing pearls. <laughs> she is. She is wearing pearls. pearls. All right. Pearls yeah. and Levi's, yeah. they go together. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know whether I should wear the suit or not or anything. And so I was like, all right, I'll go halfway. I, I don't like to mention the other band members, too, because Dave Freshman added a lot to this band when he came on. And then he had some health issues mm-hmm. that I'm sure he talked to right. you about. And so we were concerned about that with him. Um you know, standing for two hours and things right. like that. He's doing great now. Oh, yeah, that's he, another oh, yeah. funny thing. Yeah, he's doing great. So, um, you know, and everything that he um, put into the band was uh, just great. He's a great guitar player. Mm-hmm. Um, same thing with uh, Frank Diaz. I mean, he practiced it, and he's he's an Elvis fan, so he... Fantastic. Yeah. He is, yeah. I mean, guy. he was very disciplined in his playing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, the only problem I had, that he wasn't a director... Like Rodney was. Um, Rodney was just one of the best drummers I've ever had. Now, Doc is very similar to that. Um, he starts us going and then he stops us and he gets his timing and he understands different things. And, um, you know, it's just great stuff, you know, that these guys are uh, putting out there, you know. Uh, Rodney. Um, Moved to Oklahoma, damn it. Yeah, I know. Rodney played bass for me, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's when Frank came on. I tried to teach him flute. I'm like, honestly. And then Laura. That was amazing. And then Laura really calms everybody down. <laughs> she's a, And she's <laughs> got yeah. her little tricks that she's, she's got. She's got her little too. tricks, yeah. She's got us all like doing little things behind 
she's the dancer. I mean, it's funny. She's like the most active one up on the stage. Yeah. And yeah. she gets everybody kind of going behind, doing little dances, doing little routines behind her. Yeah. Like she's a, she's a choreography. Yeah, she's yeah. that little girl in the peanuts that then and then then it did with the hair back and forth. <laughs> yeah. That's her. Yep. And she said peanuts, like Charlie Schultz. That's what Charlie I was Schultz, trying. the peanuts, yeah. yeah. That's not what I thought she said. Yeah, but. that's not what I thought she said either. <laughs> no. Like no, Snoopy. No. The you know, the Snoopy, peanuts. Snoopy, Charlie Brown. <laughs> it's a damn Jersey accent. Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. So I have to say one more thing, and this yes. is about Dave Freshman, and you asked about funny things. We were... <laughs> We played a game. Breathe, Lori, breathe. This, I'm sorry, this is so funny. I know what she's going to talk about. So we played this great stage out of the Buffalo Rose, and oh. what a fantastic venue. I can't say enough good things. And it's haunted, you know. I, go ahead. I'm, well, it's wonderful then. Yeah. So maybe it got into Dave. I'm not quite sure. But so yeah. Again, I'm on, keys, I'm on keyboard, so I'm on way stage left, which is where the bathrooms are. So uh-huh. it's where the stairs go down, and I'm almost to fall off the stage in that area. And then Dave Freshman is on the complete opposite side, and we did this great set, and at the very... Not even, I think at the, it was like the second to last song yeah. or something. Yeah. I see Dave run as fast as he can across the back of the stage. And we're all playing. And it was like Speedy Gonzalez. And so you could see all the musicians going from side to side <laughs> oh, trying to yeah. figure out, looking at him going, what is he doing? And all I could think of in my head was the bathrooms are on my side. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he held it as long as he possibly could, and he just really had to go. But no, it was the spirit moved him. And yeah, the spirit moved him, and exactly. he just went flying across the stage. Oh yeah, like like in the Who, like 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 the Who, you know, like he's doing that 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 signature. Yeah, he's he waving was, his arms around. Yeah, you wouldn't think that he's like that, but yeah, he's a. I mean, he's a pretty good showman when he gets up on stage. Yeah, yeah, time, yeah. When he gets and does it, he can he can. He's a mover. <laughs> Sorry, I still... He got that. me going, actually. That was he pretty was funny. Like, I'm like, where the hell is Dave going? <laughs> he has to go off stage fast. Yeah. I'm not quite sure, but... Uh, no, he's, uh, he's just coming over to, like, play with me, you know, yeah, like yeah. that, so we can kind of show off. And also, bit. Laura gets them... Laura comes up with these really brilliant ideas, oh, so yeah. we dress them up. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> they, have to wear, yeah. they have to wear cat ears for What's New Pussycat. Aww. <laughs> yes. I think that's great. I really do. Yeah, they God. have to wear these... Um, Headdresses for Viva Las Vegas, even the men. Yes, with feathers, like with feathers, feathers, and yes. bedazzled. And yeah, 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 they're exactly. pink. Yeah, they're pink. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't hold back at all. <laughs> it's like, all right, thank you, <laughs> everybody out there listening. Like we Facebook. have got to go. When is the next show we can go to? Um, Lanny's Clock Tower. We're doing our Christmas show. It's different than the uh, 50s and 60s show, so they won't see that show but um it's december 13th um and great blues and oh, yeah. uh, christmas songs christmas songs and and all christmas songs and you know a little bit here and there different things that we're going to do with elvis as well but uh very bluesy christmas it's called the uh shelvis roused about blue christmas so uh, they should come down so and guess what out. song's in there <laughs> yeah. i'll have a blue christmas without you yep. <laughs> oh <laughs> cool so hound dog did you say um, what did you say? I think I said uh, suspicious minds. Yeah. Suspicious, suspicious minds. Suspicious yeah, mind. yeah, you know, last week I got to give you a little trivia. Um, um, and then in nineteen, um, I think it was sixty nine. Um, Elvis had his last number one hit um, twenty years ago, a week ago, which was on the radio. His last one ever was Suspicious Minds. Oh. So yeah. So would that be Sus Live at Lanny's? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I couldn't write it all on there, so <laughs> I abbreviate it. Okay. Good thing I, I know shorthand. Okay. Right on. All right. Text message. Here's Sus Live at Lanny's now. <laughs> Suspicious Smiles. Minds. We'll be right back with more Shelvis. <laughs> I can't walk out Because I love you too much, baby oh, oh, oh. What can you see? Put the lights on this baby over here What you doing to me? Come on, folks Yeah When you don't believe a word I'll say it Yeah 
can't go on together with suspicious minds. And we can't build our dreams on suspicious minds. Well, there's an old friend I know. Drop by to say hello. Will I still see suspicious morning rise? Ask me where I've been Girl, can you see these tears I'm crying oh, oh. We can't go on together With suspicious minds And we can't build our dreams Or suspicious minds Don't let a good thing die Because, honey, I ain't never, ever lied to you No, not much Hey, 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 oh! We're going to try I can't walk out Because I love you too much What you doing to me when you don't believe a word I'm saying? What you do? Caught in the trap. I can't walk out. I hope my pants don't split up, baby. Oh, caught in the trap. I can't walk out. Because I love you too much. Hey. Oh, don't you know we're caught in the trap? Oh, 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 I can't walk out. Because I love you too much. Don't you know we're caught in the trap? Oh, 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 I can't walk out. Because I love you. Too much, baby. Chop, 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 Do you want one more? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. All right. Pepperdine's integrated approach to business solutions offers you access to an array of products and services through decades of experience, state-of-the-art production processes, as well as inspired technological innovation. Whether your business or organization requires printed marketing materials, promotional ad specialty items, commercial signage, stamps, or simply functional internal forms. Their dedicated staff will provide the level of personal service and support your project deserves. Pepperdine's is located at 790 Umatilla Street, Denver, Colorado, 80204, or call 303-595-3663. Hi, I'm Kenny Lee. You're listening to Raven on the Rock. All right, we're back. <laughs> my jaws are starting to hurt. I love these shows where my jaws hurt because I'm laughing so hard. It's, it's great. Great. <sighs> well, if you're laughing, I'm just going to tell another short story. Okay. So, <laughs> so there is, um, you know, other people that are musicians understand you go on for a show and you play and you have a set list. Mm -hmm. And... Oftentimes you're in live shows, and so you'll have to alter the set list. I, uh, as you heard from the last story, play on the very fringe of falling off the stage. So I'm like the last person ever to hear the changes in the set list. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, she never hears the changes. So, and I it's can like change telephone. It. You pass it down. I know. You know. I'm like. The one thing the band hates about me is like I'll switch something up. 
and oh, they'll yeah. freak out, man. I don't freak out. I just they like do. to know what it is. Well, I can't She'll do it during it. a song, too. She'll like yeah. ad lib it at the end or whatever <laughs> like that. And we're like, oh, oh, yeah. And for me, you know, when but I that's played classic in bands, Elvis, it was man. always very set. It's like, yeah, this is the beginning, right. this is the end, this is how long it is. And you got to right. time down perfect. Oh, no. And it's like with her, it's like, oh, Flexible. no, no, you got to, and you got to be like a laser beam on her, watching her. It's like, what is she going to do next? You have no What's idea. Do? And sometimes yeah. you have to just catch it. It's like, yeah. you're yeah. watching her and uh, it's like. The next, I could just see her just forming the words for the next part. And then I'm like, oh, it's that chord. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going. Well, that's classic Elvis. Yeah. Elvis did yeah. that to his band constantly. Yeah. Uh, he would always do that. I mean, he even read words on a paper. Yeah. The, when he first did Burning Love, he didn't know all the words. And he just read right off the paper. And he said, oh, yeah. band, we're going to play this. And they're like, we just learned it yesterday. If you get you a know? chance to see that on YouTube, you should yeah, see Yeah, it's pretty yeah. funny. And really? that's what people loved about. Elvis, uh-huh. because he was so uh, just himself. Spontaneous. Yeah, spontaneous, yeah, very... funny. And, you know, everybody makes fun of the jumpsuit, but i got to tell you, he's got some beautiful jumpsuits that were made. Right. And uh, not everyone knows this, but the reason he wore the cape and the jumpsuit, and a lot of people make fun of that, but that means a lot to him. A lot of the eagles and the tigers and uh, the different characters, the dragons, because he's Cherokee Indian. So... Um, that was a symbolism to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why he had that all that jewelry made in those belts. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, he liked Captain America. That was his hero as a kid. So he he had the idea with the cape, you know. Wow. So that was how the mm-hmm. jumpsuit got formed uh, from that. Shelvis has yeah. not yet uh, morphed yeah, I'm not into the no jumpsuit. jumpsuit. No, 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 no. There's too <laughs> many of them. There. Every time I look on, you know, not that that's a bad thing. I mean, that's right. great. Um, but you want to I, set yourself apart. Well, yeah, mm. I have my own look and my own style. Um, I'm not an Elvis per se. I don't want to be Elvis. Mm-hmm. I'm doing a tribute to Elvis because mm-hmm. I love the guy, mm-hmm. you know, and I love the music that he created and every character that I do because I grew up with that music. You know, I'm, I'm 49 years old. I grew up with Tom Jones, Neil Diamond, you know, Ricky Nelson, you know, Buddy Holly was one of my favorites, mm. you know, um, all those characters. And in the music industry, because they all set a precedence to the same thing going back to Elvis. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I just I I just want people to understand that I am an impersonator, but I'm a tribute artist, not really per se an Elvis impersonator only. You know, and I do have my own identity, which is Lori Marie Muha, aka Shelvis. Mm-hmm. And that's why I like coming out as myself at the end a lot of times. Yeah. This show we won't, but uh, the other show that we the other show we do. Mm-hmm. I come and out what do you myself. sing when you're just Lori? I sing a lot of Shania Twain country music, you know, um, with the Ronstead or something. You know, right now we're doing the Shania Twain thing because the signature song is when I'm peeling my clothes off and letting my hair down on stage. I feel, I feel like, like a, a woman. woman. Yeah. So when nice. people hear that, they're like, "Whoa, this is cool." <laughs> <laughs> Thus the confusion yeah. from coming out of her male character right. into uh, into her. Yeah, you have all the women all hot and bothered throughout the whole show. Yeah, and the men what? and the men and the men <laughs> and the men are sitting there like with their arms folded, with their wives and something. Like, mm, okay, he's pretty good. I gotta give him that. And some say that's gotta be a girl. Yeah, no yeah. Adam's apple, perfect skin. Wait a minute, yeah. smells good. <laughs> you know some people figure it out but a lot of people don't because you know it's oh, cabaret what are you it's dark. To say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah I do. Dave I do. well you know either some men have really heavy cologne on you know yeah. or mm. they smell like B.O. after a two hour show yeah. you know I don't smell like either or by the way mm. so um, <laughs> good to know yeah good to know um, I wish the, and this is when I, I I need to set the the video camera up in here just to you know tape what's going on not the actual show but Kelly is gonna bust a gut over I here. am I'm yeah, sorry yeah, yeah, yeah. So. you're turning even redder I know. <laughs> so and then when I do come out like a female the men are just like like a, like a cartoon character like their eyes pop yeah. out I'm like oh god I'm not gay thank god <laughs> <laughs> Because they're getting like excited because there's dudes sitting on their lap singing, right. What's yeah. new, oh. Pussy Cat? Whoa, 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 whoa. And the men are like, Why is this Tom Jones doing this to me? And I'm really liking this for yeah. some reason. Oh, that was funny. 
that was. That was hilarious. <laughs> the guy's face was just... What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Some of these guys get really shocked, and they just don't know what to do. Yeah. 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 It's a very hands-on, touchy-feely show for, yeah. for yeah. Uh, Shalvos. Yeah. Out in the audience, going around, talk, you know, having people sing with her. and, and Bringing them up on stage for, like, grease, you know, mm-hmm. to do the, the, the grease lightning, lightning yeah. thing. Yeah, that was that's really cool. And I kissed like them, and I hugged them, and I oh, grabbed and them sometimes. And scarves. Yeah. I mean, people oh, come scarves. Up. I never have a... I always want to have scarves. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's, wow. it's very hands-on, touchy-feely, yeah. and wonderful. Yes. And we always get a standing ovation at the at the at the Lanny show, yeah. always. Yeah. And I really appreciate that from all yeah. the fans and yeah. people come out and see Definitely. us. Definitely love that fan. And I love yeah. Lanny too. She's oh. great. Oh yeah. yeah. So the Tom Jones song is mine's. Um, no, the Tom. We don't. Do we have Tom Jones on here? I don't think we I don't do. Think we may not. Do. That might be no, just the. No, uh oh. No, uh-uh. You think might just somewhere. have it on the. Uh, uh, no, we don't have any Tom Jones. <laughs> Neil. Sorry. We have Neil Diamond. I do Neil Diamond. And um, that is... Um, Shelvis is Neil. Yeah, it's Shelvis is Neil. Studio. Yeah. <laughs> so it's Cherry Cherry. That, see, yeah. I, and I don't know the name of the song. I just have Shelvis is Neil. Oh, wait. No, I have two. <gasps> I have Shelvis is Neil Diamond, and then I have Shelvis is Neil. Well, there's the one that's Cherry Cherry, and then that's Shelvis is Neil. It's Cherry Cherry, and then the other one is um, Solitary Man. It's her own secret code on that I thing, know. Right? which I think I is know. number nine. Well, I rushed it over here. I couldn't get those MP3s in. I know. It was bug- bugging and the heck out of me. I appreciate that. Sorry. That's okay. So am I playing Cherry? I think you're playing Cherry Cherry, but don't... It's studio stuff, guys, so it's not the roustabouts. Just oh, stop. it's not? No. Oh. Well, i got to hear you anyway. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Well, it was mine till the time that I found her Holding Jim, loving him Then Sue came along, loved me strong That's what I thought Me and Sue, and I died too Don't know what it will, but until I can't find me Girl, you won't stay, you can't play the games behind me I'll be what I am, solitary man Solitary man I had it to hear being where love's a small world but time flame from paper rain. I know that it's hard having one girl who loves you. Right or wrong, weak and strong. Don't know what I will, but until I can't find me, girl, you won't stay. You can't play. Behind me, I'll be what I am, solitary man, solitary man. can't find me Girl, you won't stay You can't play the games behind me But I'll be what I am Solitary man Solitary man Supporting local businesses doesn't stop with the economy. It is all about creating a stable and vibrant community. Stimulate our economy by browsing Rely Local's business directory. Saving money doesn't have to cost you, and you no longer have to weed the coupon books that fill your mailbox. Just print them from Rely Local Littleton. Rely Local has combined online job boards and newspapers to provide you with the most local jobs in the Littleton area. Get connected. 
We want you to be an active partner in our campaign to rebuild the Littleton economy. Rely Local Littleton, your source for supporting local businesses. This is Raven with Eggs and Kegs Radio Show here on VRDO, and you're listening to Rockin' Raven! All right, we are going to get a live, live show or a live song. I'm just looking to wonder why. Okay, I just want to make sure we're still on the air because the words on the tune-in player are not Raven on the Rock. (laughs) (laughs) I got a little scared there for a second. So what are you going to play with for us? We're going to play Mystery Train, um, which is an old Sun record record. that Elvis did back in 1956. And um, if anybody knows anything about the Sun Records Studios, Stan Phillips, a lot of big arts came out of there, such as, you know, Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, and Carl Parkins. And so Elvis recorded this in there. Uh, and this is our style. You ready? Train coaches long Train ride Sixteen coaches long Well, that long black train Brought my baby back home Train or train Train to train Going up around the bridge Well, it took my baby Never bring me back again Again, 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 again. All right, Grant Tiger Man Well, I'm gonna climb the mountain And they call me The Tiger Man Well, the mountain keeps on calling Me way back Way back again Again, 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 again. All right, all right They call me the Tiger Man Yeah, I'm gonna climb the mountain And they call me the Tiger Man Well, the mountain keeps on calling me Way back, way back again Doing the best we can here. What we got? Yeah, <laughs> baby, that sounded good. I don't think Lola likes your guitar, your drum set. I know. I'm not gonna use the kick gum. She the, was the over kick here is, shaking. She is so afraid. The dog. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna use Poor that puppy. kick. Use so the kick. we can say Shelvis oh, and the rest of us, fantastic musicians and dog torturers. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, 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 no! I'm an animal lover. But All she, of us are. But Lori, she's just staring at you the whole time. I know. I, oh, yeah. 
I was like, what is this woman doing? The dog looked like, the dog looked like he's going to have a heart attack. I think he's trying to, to dig do. through your drywall here to get out of this room. <laughs> oh, poor Lola. Oh. Hi, Lola. Lola is not my puppy. She is um, a friend's puppy, and I'm babysitting her this week. And she has been a very warm addition to my bed. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, it's a one dog night, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's one very, well, it's like an eighth of a dog. <laughs> eighth of a dog night, yeah. That's one thing about my house. When they come over, they have to rate the whole jungle at my house. <laughs> so, like, what do you got? I have like three cats and two dogs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they're all musically inclined, right? They are actually. Mo yeah. loves Mo coming downstairs. Loves he comes oh, down. Yeah. He is not afraid. He oh, knows. not at all. He, he'll sit there and roll around on the floor. <laughs> yeah. Who is yeah. your dog? Get pets from everybody as he's going through. And, Bear? Yeah. Was Bear? Yeah, that, that was the bull massive that was visiting us. It's, oh. my, it's my daughter's and my son That was a good dog. dog. So, oh, so we're trying to play, and I have a front row seat to bear <laughs> trying to sniff the back of Dave Dran's calf. And it just kind of, he wasn't quite sure what that cold thing was in the like, back what of his the calf. Hell is that? Here's this big black bull mass. <laughs> oh, yeah. The size of a tire, you know, licking his. It was pretty funny. He tried to put his nose many places. <laughs> yes, oh, he did. Yeah. yeah. So, Lori, tell me about your uh, charities that you do. Um, a lot of times, you know, a lot of people don't realize it's not just all about the big shows. You have to give back to the community, which I'm a huge, uh, you know, uh, contributor and I have a lot of passion for that. Uh, I do a lot of senior centers, you know, um, which, you know, they love Shelvis, which oh, I don't yeah. bring the roustabouts because they can't afford the whole band. Right. So they just hire me to do the karaoke, whatever mm-hmm. that I do for them. Um, and then also I do the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Uh, benefit i do a lot of things for the uh cancer society as well as um diabetes you know uh, foundation and um a lot of times you know uh we do a fundraiser for the um the shelter and for the homeless here in denver um we did a couple of shows Mm -hmm. where we raised money and food uh for those folks especially around the holidays Mm -hmm. we'll do a holiday show and donate portion of our pay and also uh have people come and bring food mm-hmm. you know and that's a huge uh draw people yeah that. it's that time of year again too. yeah so uh, and that then, was one of the first shows we did was a holiday show that's right and it was uh, a benefit it was a benefit and uh we did very well uh and of course um we also do it for people who are uh, you know struggling financially who have cancer if they ask us to come and do a show for them we will do it to raise money to help them with uh medical bills or what they need mm-hmm uh, just because, like I said, you know, you have to give back to the community, which Elvis, then again, was a huge contributor to mm. many organizations. And one of them is the March of Dimes and the St. Jude's Children's Hospital in Memphis. Him and Danny Thomas mm-hmm. built that hospital. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so um, um, I am a huge uh, you know, contributor to that and my band as well. And they never say no. Mm-hmm. They never say no, which is great because some people don't like to do benefits, you know, and... Um, their time and but it's, it's karma know. and it tells you what kind of people you have playing with you too i know but some people just you know they don't like doing benefits but because uh, they they think people take advantage of the artists mm-hmm. um so a lot of them don't but i don't look at it that way mm-hmm. you know how can you take advantage by helping somebody of the artist right exactly you know? and but you also have to be careful too yeah and normally when we do these things i you know i make sure that i check if it's legitimate and all that kind right. of thing, so yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people out there that learned how to work the system. Yeah, I unfortunately was not one of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even know what the system is. You know? <laughs> There's a system. A system? <laughs> There's a system. What's up with that? <laughs> Where'd it go? It how do you spell thing? that word? Yeah, right. it's such a thing. <laughs> Well, that that's great. Um, do you actually go to like St. Jude's or Children's Hospital and do um, this Before too? I had the roustabouts, um, we would uh, there was a, a fan club here in town called the Elvis Connection, and uh, it was just local people who you know created a fan club, mm-hmm. and every year we did a huge St. Jude's Children's benefit, and uh, would donate money to a family that needed it for a child who mm-hmm. had cancer. So. Since then, the, uh, the fan club is no longer because it's been years. 
So I just do it individually if someone asks me to do something. Mm -hmm. um, I'm busy doing shows on a regular basis, so benefits don't come too often. But when they do, you know, I am available to do that for someone. I will look at my schedule and see what we can do. You know, help nice. people out. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How's your guys' schedules going? <coughs> How's our schedules going? <laughs> I'm not even going to say. I know. <laughs> I'll, I'll just be quiet. Dave? <laughs> oh, I, what, Have that? you seen Red lately? Uh. No. <laughs> Actually, now that he's not doing, um, the, the, we're waiting for, you know, nationals uh, for the rodeo uh -huh. season. There's there's honestly months where I'm like, I, I, I have his schedule and my schedule and he's at some rodeo and I'm doing some Well, gig honey, I'll see you in three months. That's yeah. exactly, go, that's yeah. exactly, love you. And by the way, yeah. Red is part of uh, when he, we're at Lanny's. Uh, he he comes out and he get, hands him my my wardrobe and stuff. He's a so stage he's, manager oh. there. Yeah, right? he helps yeah. out a lot. He helps big, out a lot. Yeah, big hand to him yeah. because uh, yeah. yeah, he's a big big part of this. He's so. he's wonderful. And you know, it's really funny. I I'm not quite sure whether it's my look or my petite stature, but people <laughs> never think I'm in the band. They think Red's in the band. Yeah, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah I saw you up there in the band. And so they're like, you know, they he's talk got a swagger. Yes, he does. <laughs> you watch him, and he's he's a cowboy. He yeah. is a cowboy. He's very oh, bullegged, yeah. but he earned it. So uh, <laughs> it's funny, and they, they ask him, you know, oh, what do you play in the band? And he goes, uh, I, I, looking at me, he goes, I play her. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Thanks, yeah, honey. Yeah. yeah. He, so he is so I got to do a shout out for my wife, too. Because oh, she's Kate. Been, well, yeah. you're next. So, yeah. yeah. Do you get to see your wife at all? Um, yes, I do. All the good. time, which is very good. And she is a very patient and wonderful woman. Yeah, <laughs> she is. Yeah, she's, I mean, she doesn't have, for one, I'm playing in a band. You know, right. how many women are going to deal with that very well? Right. And for another, I'm playing in a band that has more women in it than men. <laughs> so it's kind of, <laughs> you know, what's going on over there? And now and she's, she's very good, you know, and uh, very supportive of me Kate going out. She's a musician and doing as well. So yeah, she, yeah, a she fantastic plays, yeah. musician. Yeah, we, what does we she play do? Together. So we had a, a band a while ago called This Close, and this is where uh, uh, Lori and I Yeah, that's and why I wanted to have a little bios for the band, but yeah. they're not here, so and they right. and I didn't get any um, <laughs> from anybody. Okay. I actually yeah, did I one. <laughs> this Close was the band that we had, and it was me and my wife and a friend of mine that we played put together. And then you know, I met Lori. I knew her from my work and everything like that. And she's like, yeah, you know, I'm interested in you know playing, doing some things outside of Shelvis and stuff like that. It's like, cool. So... We kind of formed a band there, and uh, we played. It was like a lot of alternative rock type stuff and originals, a lot of originals that um, me and my friend put together over time. I was his drummer. Yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah. She, she did the drumming there. And uh, we had the band actually a little bit before you know she came on. We had a drummer, and then he left, and then we were, and Lori's like, I'll play. And I was like, cool. So, But uh, my wife was a singer, and I would sing on some of the songs, but I wrote a lot of originals, but I could never write words, and my wife is a wordsmith. I mean, that's what she does. Yeah. So I could kind of give her a general idea of what I think the song should be about, and she's like, ah, oh, I got it. <laughs> write it all down. Yeah. And it was great. So she really liked that. But then she kind of got, well, for one, kids, and right. you know, just family and everything like that. And she's just like, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. And so... You know, between that and just other hardships that were going on during the mm -hmm. time, the band kind of fell apart. But she was still very supportive, even though she left it and everything like that. She didn't want me to stay at home and, you know, you have to follow me or anything like that or get concerned about that. And it was very, you know, like, go for it. Just go and have fun. And, uh, you know, this is when we started. Actually, yeah. me and Lori, yeah, you know, we started, yeah. Lori and Laura called me in and said, so, you know, do you want to do with be, We need to get the roustabouts yeah which by the way don't confuse yourselves with the blues band here in town called roustabouts there oh there a, is there is a blues yeah. band a blues called band. Roustabouts. Yeah. Band too. this is shelvis in the roustabouts but but so, what, what, what people don't know a roustabout is a carny so and it's an elvis movie okay so that's why we got that right. not awesome. to steal it from them right we got it from an elvis film yeah and that's an elvis thing about yeah so. yeah she uh Lori gave me a spoiler alert today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we were talking about Elvis and his movies, and I said, you know, I started watching Love Me Tender, and I just could never, like, I, something I would it. always happen, you I know? I blew it, I blew it. And. Don't and, tell me I've never seen it then. Well, too bad. If oh, I if I dude. have to take know, your, you take have your to. Head la, 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 la. <laughs> So, so I said to Lori, I said, I, I've never been able to watch the end of that movie. 
And what did Lori say? What did Lori say? He dies. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Do you believe it? I'm never watching the movie. <laughs> I know. It was his first film, and uh, he dies in it. His mother hated that film because he died, and he never did it again. He never died again? No. No. Except once. That's no. it? Well, are you sure? For real, he died in are 19... you sure? <laughs> I... 1977. I've heard rumors. Have you oh, not heard the rumors? I mean, yeah, I've heard those. You know, I, I, I don't know. Maybe no, he I came don't. back as a lorry. <gasps> <laughs> I was going to say, I see him. <laughs> I think Lori's been. Uh, uh, I'm just going to be quiet in the corner. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, did you ever, Kelly? Did you what? ever see? Do you watch Friends at all? I, I used to quite a bit. Okay, yeah. the the one where Phoebe was massaging the little old lady who died, yeah. and and then her her spirit did not make it to heaven. It went into Phoebe. <laughs> that was so funny. I know. That's what happened to Lori. Uh, oh, maybe. You know what? <laughs> I believe it. I do. <laughs> That's I can believe that. I do too. That's, I believe that. Well, you know, I mean, the thing is, is like I, I really love the blues Mississippi sound. I just grew up with that, and I grew up with, uh, you know, Jerry Vale, and I grew up with um, a lot of country, old country like Johnny Cash and. Uh, Conway Twitty. Now, back like then, yeah. wasn't it considered Western? It was Western, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was real country. We got both kinds of music, country <laughs> and Western. Well, the country yeah. today is rock. I mean, it's I know, just it's crossover yeah. rock. Yeah, yeah, so. rock. Did no yeah. one get that reference to no. the movie? Oh, I got it. No. Would you like to play Rawhide? No. I'm sorry. That was from the Blues Brothers, so <laughs> yeah. when they played the country gig. But, yeah. I mean, that's where stars are made out of. And today, right. that's kind of, I think rock and roll is... Lost that mm-hmm. finesse, I think. I think I love the new country that they have, mm-hmm. but everyone sound like everybody now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, because you know? somebody makes it big and they think, oh, that's the sound. And mm-hmm. so everyone else has to sound like that. Yeah. No, I always like that, you know, what was that guy's name? That You know, of course, Danny Gatton and things like that. I mean, those guys were just phenomenal guitar players. And I knew that. You know, who's the hee-haw guy? I can never remember his name. Oh, oh. Huh? Roy Clark. Yeah. yeah. Clark. That yeah. guy. I remember Clark. a friend Thicker. of mine actually when I was in junior high. And he was like, he goes, yeah, that Roy Clark, he's an amazing guitar player. And I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then I really heard him and I was like, oh, 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 wow. oh yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. That guy's really good. I mean, it's it's amazing to listen to those really good rockabilly. And, you know, it's mm-hmm. like that, you know, I, I always liked it. You know, I've always had that in the back of my hand. I'd love to play that way. You know, I'd really like to do that. And, uh you know, growing up, when I started doing bands and stuff, I was doing a lot of, like, you know, heavy metal, of course, you know, thrash band and stuff. And that was fun. And, you know, classic rock and, and the alternative you, stuff. You, really? Oh, yeah. I had long hair. Yeah, down you, the of my he back. had a mullet, man. Oh, no, I did not have a mullet. <laughs> I did not have a mullet. I had a long hair, though. It's kind of I a had, mullet. No, no. Kind I had of this, short on the side. No, it wasn't. I had long. You don't remember. The I remember really the long. first picture, but then you had another one where it was cut down here and long in the back. Yeah, are, but are, it wasn't It wasn't cut. Are we Facebook friends? No. No, I don't mm-hmm. think so. Are you a face? Are you on Facebook? Yeah. I okay, just, you need to Facebook right, me, and tomorrow you. is Throwback Thursday. Oh, yeah. I'll I want to see you. that picture. I'll show you that picture. He was a handsome devil. I can't yeah. picture it. He was a handsome but, devil. I mean, was. He, he's still <laughs> I a, was. He's still a handsome yeah. devil, yeah. Not after the car accident. Like, <laughs> no. It's just but, uh, different with the long hair and the spandex. So no, I did. We're, we're oh, talking and I'll tell you, I wore spandex person. once. And that was, How'd that I was like, go oh, for no. You? <laughs> oh, no, no. It's not... Yeah. That's not a pleasant experience being in front of people with, you Your know. Your socks sticking out. <laughs> yeah, basically. But he had a guitar to cover it. Yeah, and I did, too. I mean, I'm like, oh. Yeah. That was that was not a good thing. But, I, yeah. yeah, this band said, you ought to play with spandex on. And I was just like, oh, really? <laughs> it was it was really not a good good show. And I had a good sight. and. No. I need pictures of that. I know. <laughs> no, you don't get any pictures of that. But uh, no, I used Sorry, to have really Kate. long hair and stuff. But uh, um, actually, I like, you know, it was funny because I played in those types of bands. And then, you know, this came along and it's like, yeah, you know, I've actually enjoyed this because of the show, because mm-hmm. of playing in front of all, you know, just 
it's spontaneous. You know, that's one thing. We were always very set in our songs. And this is mm-hmm. like, you've got to be really aware of what's going on. And mm-hmm. plus, that's kind of is. You know, you see the good bands and stuff. They know how to vamp and everybody's paying attention and what's going on. And, and I like that. I do, too. And I like, you know, when you have a good band and just good mojo with everybody right. else that's in the band, too. Mm-hmm. And this has been probably not only the most enjoyable in that sense, but profitable, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've been doing good shows. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's been very, very good. I really well, enjoyed it. Yeah, and I'm proud of them too. All the roustabouts, I mean, everyone who's been part of the show and part of um, playing their, you know, their instrument in the show. I don't want to say one person is better than the other because they all, um, they all add their own style and their own touch. I've I've found that just doing this show that yeah. how how do you say who's the best? You can't. It's impossible because everybody has their. Their right. own style, their exactly, own touch, and that's know? what's important. And when I see these kids, you, you know, the youth musicians coming up and they say, "Oh, I want to play like you know, yeah, Sting or or what's what's the guy with the tall hat? Not Sting, is it Sting? Sting? Slash, <laughs> oh, slash, oh, slash, yeah. Yeah. slash. You know, that's great, but you got to be a you. Yeah, well, you that's the whole thing with American are. Idol. I mean, you, that's why you win because you you create your own self. Mm-hmm. You become right. a star because you create something but different than anyone else. Otherwise, right. people don't recognize you. Right. Yep. In that sense, you know, right. we're a tribute artist show. So right, and what you know, you're doing is totally thing. different. But yeah. if you were writing your own songs, right. oh, we do. They well, do. Well, we have a couple. We have, <laughs> you Dave do. freshman wrote the Sh- Sh- Shelf Shuffle. 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 Yep. I mean, that's a pretty awesome song. Yep. The Shelvish. Why don't I have the Shelvish Shuffle? Well, it's it, it's Dave Freshman's song, so he would have to. Um, Wait, okay. let me look in Dave Freshman's he folder have here. Prove it. He'd have to prove Dave. it. Dave. Dave. If I have it, he approved it. <laughs> Dave you know, Freshman. I mean, that's part of Open. the Freshman experience. He he created that song. So. Yeah. A very good songwriter too. Yeah, that he's a good songwriter. Really good. Yeah, he's excellent. So one one of the things you get with a band, kind of with so many different characters in it, just I mean, outside of what Robert. what Laurie does. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Dave's pouring water. So outside of what Laurie does and her characters, just the people in the band have bring such varied personalities mm-hmm. and thank goodness well yeah and that's important too you don't want everybody the same <clears throat> and you know we're all from different kind of musical backgrounds as well so mm-hmm. everyone brings stuff to the table which is nice right. and uh, i love that about the roustabout so yeah i went to band camp for seven years we hear about that you band had to stay for story. seven years <laughs> they wouldn't let you go home until you did it right <laughs> yeah. she tells us this story every well, so the American, so if you are listening and you don't know, I am a flautist. That kind of ended up, well, I started on piano, but I am a flautist. Yeah. And that's the correct pronunciation. Yeah. But anyway, how many times people ask me, and one time at band camp. Okay, wait, right, I have right. to stop you. A flautist is someone who plays a flute. Correct. Okay, go ahead. That is correct. <laughs> or somebody that likes flautists. <laughs> or makes flautists. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, that is correct. But it's a flautist. So, and so the one time at band camp, and my son, who's 11 now, even knows that. And I'm thinking, oh, no, honey, no, don't say you that can't to your say mom. That. Yeah, you oh. So, anybody who watches an American Pie film, they know what that's all about. I'm not oh, quite yeah. sure if anyone's ever seen a flute and understands that that wouldn't really happen. So, anyway. <laughs> But I, so I went to Interlochen Arts Academy for seven years and... The play, oh, you're funny. Oh, stop it. So I played with many, many wonderful people, but this is all classical background. So for me to classical, yeah. be able to, yeah. and this is funny. So with a classical background, you always have music in front of you. Now, I don't even know what song we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> so you better be quick. That's right. Yep. That's right. I don't. Not only is it not what song, but the last gig that we did, um, Dave Duran and, and Ed Downs and and I kind of passed the bass around. Oh yeah. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, we we needed a bass player, so we had to shuffle stuff around. And yeah, that's uh, thank God we had three bass players. In there. <laughs> so there were some songs where you know I had to play guitar on it, and there were some songs where she had to play the yeah. piano on it. So it's like. All right, so we'd switch up on stage, and so we'd just yeah. do this little thing. We knew what the next song was, so it'd be like, okay, switch. Well, we had to change up the list, and Lori was like, here's a list. <laughs> and bass. so the next song, we're just like... <laughs> the bass is in between us, like hanging in the air, and we don't know who's supposed to grab it. And we're waiting, and we're just watching her just for any it's little signal. Test. 
one it's little test, signal, <laughs> what, some what, kind of word, something that would give us a clue of what, what this next song was. What instrument are we supposed to play? <laughs> because we knew that she was going to like say something, then it would be like, here we go, like that. We're like. <laughs> There's, yeah, I've got... Figure it out, man. (laughs) Well, and I even said it on stage. You know, I have three instruments to choose from here. I'm not really quite sure. Yeah. I was hoping she can use her toes for one. That was a good one. You know. That one, that was pretty good. (laughs) That was pretty crazy. That was another, yeah, very funny. Not at the time. Well, (laughs) at the time it wasn't funny, no. But but it always comes together on stage, even, even if... Um, so what what you're telling me is that the, it, when I come to your show, right. I should have my video camera going pointed to Kelly's face. Yes, exactly oh, yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> and Dran as well. Yeah, we, you will see many looks of what yeah. going between us. We're not very good. They look, like men, they look like minions, you know, yeah. those little yeah. yellow guys, <laughs> 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 the big eyes. I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. What? Oh, just pick a key. Okay. We'll little go. little minions running around. What do we do? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you guys. Okay. Yeah. My my jaws need a break. Right. Um, so how about if we play a little hound dog? I'm, I'm dying oh. to hear this one. Alrighty then. And then maybe when we come back, we can um, pick a song that Kelly can be a flautist on. We can do uh, Can't Help Falling in Love. And she can be a flautist. She can be a flautist. I, she I'm be always a flautist. a flautist. I would just yeah. play it's for you. It's a beautiful <laughs> song. And uh, by the way, that's a, a, a signature song. Every concert, he'd sing that at the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. All right, here's Hound Dog, and we will be right back with more Shelvis Live. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Cry all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Cry all the time. Said you were a high class. Well, that was just a lie. You said you were a high class. That was just a lie. Well, you ain't ever caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Driving all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Driving all the time. Well, you ain't ever caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend. Hey, all right, here we go, North here. Here we go. Hey, all right, honey, that's all right. Let's see what we got here. All right. You ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time You ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time Well, you ain't ever caught a rabbit And you ain't no friend Nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time You ain't nothing but a hound dog Crying all the time Well, you ain't ever caught a rat You ain't no friend 
friend of mine. That got me in trouble. I don't know why. It just did. All right. We are back with Shelvis and two roustabouts. So wait a minute. There's four roustabouts, right? Oh, no. There's oh, no. eight of us. Yeah, we're a big So there's band. seven roustabouts. Yep. Seven roustabouts. So two sevenths. What's two sevenths? Two sevenths? It's two sevenths. <laughs> I guess that we're two sevenths. two sevenths. <laughs> we are two sevenths. Two sevenths. It's which, a number. <laughs> which is a little more. It is well, a fraction. Or a little less than one third. So right, yeah, yeah. Two sevenths. Two sevenths. <laughs> really, I'm not drinking, guys. No. Really? <laughs> She's not. It's just water. It's water. I got coffee. I got coffee. Coffee. She's got coffee. Co- oh, okay. Coffee. Coffee. Mm. Coffee. Just got coffee, folks. Uh, All right, so what are we doing? Little can't help following. Okay. I'll uh, count it in, okay? There you go. I don't start on the first part, so. No, I know. Okay, good. <laughs> she just wants to make sure she knows where she's at. This is a very, this is like. You gotta watch her. We've heard that through the whole interview. <laughs> I get it, Kelly. I understand that. <laughs> Thank you. Wise men say All the fools, all the fools rush in But if I, if I, I can't help Falling in love with you Will it be, will it be a sin? These are very nice, sensitive mice. Nice careful. acoustics in here, yeah. but you can put me outside next time. 
<laughs> you could hear me breathe. <laughs> breathe or breed? <laughs> yes. But that other one wasn't going on in here, so. Not with I me. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> sorry. Oh, uh, Kelly, you're so funny. I'm sorry. That's okay. So, um. <clears throat> <laughs> Tell me about when your dad came home from work. Oh, that was okay. So I, I'm one of those very blessed people to be able to pick up an instrument and just kind of know how to play it. My sister, Judy, um, love her. She's my oldest sister and she played the flute years and years ago, but her flute was located on the very top of her bookcase, which was about six inches from the ceiling. <laughs> and I was not allowed to touch it. Mm. Um, fifth grade coming up, you really get to pick your instrument. That's what I wanted to play. She wouldn't give it to me. Mm. Wouldn't give it to me. Mm. I begged, pleaded. I, I think I even like made her bed for a week or something. <laughs> but uh, finally, she she gave me the flute one morning. And my dad loves to tell a story where my dad was an attorney in, in, uh, in Detroit and would work long hours. And thank goodness it was long hours. So he left very early in the morning. My sister Judy gave me the flute. And I have an ear, so I have never, I didn't know where my fingers went. I didn't know how to blow in it. But by, Really? By, <laughs> stop it. Lori. Well, Silly. That's why but, she went to bank camp. Yeah. I so, see. At one time at bank camp. No, anyway, so by the all. time. And Red appreciates I, that. He loves me and my tiny little fingers. But anyway, he... He, uh, my dad tells a story about he went to work and, you know, it was just a normal day and he came home and his youngest daughter was a flautist. And I, I honestly vaguely recall, but that I knew two songs by the time he came home. I mean, that's day one playing the flute. And I played him the songs that were very popular at the time, which was, uh, the theme from the Muppet show. (laughs) 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 It's time to get this started. It's time to the lights. It's time to do the Muppets on the Muppet show tonight. tonight. (laughs) Anyway, and then the other one, which is slightly, uh, polarizing, um, tune from that one was the theme from MASH, which is called Suicide is Pain. Yeah, I love that. And so those are day one. Those are the two songs I knew how to play. Nice. Without touching it before. It's a great show, too. Yeah. And so thanks, Mom and Dad, for all the band camp. No, thank you, Judy, mm. for giving your sister. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you, you oh, Judy. Thank you, I thank you, have baby. to text her now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. So, yes, thanks, Judy. <laughs> yeah. hey, and you, you know, know what? I'm oh, sorry. I just have me. to tell you, I didn't get to keep her flute. I was going to say, <laughs> did yeah. you ha- end up getting your own? I went to a used instrument mm. sale that they would have in Detroit, and I had to pay for my own flute. And I bought an Artly, which is actually mm, generally when you look at really wonderful sounding flutes, that's not the first thing that yeah. comes to the top of the mm. list. It sounds fantastic. I still have it to this day. I bought it for 20 bucks. Wow. Nice. Nice. Yep. Nice. I was nine years old. Yep. So Your sister was probably like, give it back to me, you yeah. young upstart. She doesn't <laughs> play it anymore. <laughs> oh. Oh. Was she a little jealous? No. no? Um, no. See, I didn't even think about that. Mm-hmm. She's she's eight plus years older than me, so no, no jealousy whatsoever there. Mm-hmm. She's a six foot tall, beautiful geophysicist, PhD, body surfing, flautist, yeah, yeah, <laughs> flautist from so years back. Did Oz send you a uh, bio on him? Because that gentleman was a very interesting gentleman. He's had, he's been in a couple bands throughout the years here in Denver, but he was a Denver. Uh, police officer so last oh. week he said you know he's 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 older now but and um you know he's you know grandpa and he's got you know grown kids and stuff and he's still a handsome man very handsome man but he sent me a picture of him when he was um um a Denver police officer and he boots. wrote a, in boot well he's like chips you know he rode a motorcycle oh. and behind him was a motorcade and it was the present seal so i i guess he was on some sort of oh, I don't know. Uh, duty detail, on that, yeah. detail oh, on that. Oh, wow. And he is hot looking. <laughs> My God. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, he makes Eric Estrada look like a like nothing. I'm just saying <clears throat> that. And he... Uh, wow. And he was... A, he's still a good looking man. In, uh, he's a beautiful looking man. And he's very talented. And he's played in uh, Elvis bands before. And um, 
a couple mm-hmm. other popular bands. I think they were called the uh, the uh, the Wanderer, I think, and they had to change it or something. But I I don't I don't the know what my, the Wanderers. I think so. I think the Wanderers, and they had to change it. And uh, he played with them back in the day, back in the like seventies. You know what I mean? I mean, way back. Then. I mean, he's been here in um, way uh, back in the seventies. Yeah, you know, when they with the colored <laughs> pants and the and they wear those uh, those. Uh, Funky shirts, you know, yeah. the, the hey, turtlenecks with the buttons on them. So. His first band was The Runaways. Oh, sorry. The Runaways. Go, the Runaways. Not to be confused with Joni Jets. That's yeah. right. That's right. So he, I'm, excuse me, Oz, I'm sorry. So The Runaways was his first band, and uh, and they were very popular, and they had to change the name. And uh, and he has quite a bit of history here in, in, in Denver, Colorado, mm-hmm. uh, being in the music industry. And he's been helping us out a lot. And yeah, He owns that. Drum City? No. Um, no. Mm-mm. I don't think so, unless that's put in there. Um, History with his solo drum record hits in his store, Drum City Guitar Land. Well, maybe maybe he does. I mean... Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, no, well, that's his he bio. Was, oh, okay. He sent the bio, so... Um, maybe he does, or he did at some point or in time. Part of, yeah. yeah. I couldn't remember everything he had he had written down, only a few things, but... Uh, he's a very interesting character. Very. And, and he's a nice man. Yeah. I have to throw out a thank you, if you don't mind. Thank yeah, you, sure. Pat Courtney. Uh, Pat Courtney is his son in law. I ran into Pat, who had been one of my medical reps years ago when I was a nurse, hmm. and uh, I ran into him at the UPS store, started talking to him, mm-hmm. let him know about this project. He goes, My father in law may be interested. And mm-hmm. that's uh, right. That's how we got him. Yeah. It just happened to work out. And that he way. came to Herman's and saw us at Herman's play, and he was blown away. Yeah. Um, Gary, and he said, I want to be in this band. This is my thing. So nice. And he has heart. He, I mean, he was in a big Elvis band before this. Mm-hmm. And so uh, a he A big knew, Elvis band. <laughs> Ten people in that band. There was band. like ten yeah. people in that band. <laughs> wow. Yeah. They got two extra in there. They like horns and, you know, like four, four oh, ladies yeah. singing and so. Mm-hmm. But, um, and he and he just, um, he has a lot of heart and I appreciate everything he's doing for us and what he has done so far. So, um, this Ozzy, you're out there listening, that's uh, for you, buddy. So, mm-hmm. thank you. And I'm sorry you couldn't make it. Yeah. Darn it. Darn it. I'm sorry a lot of the Rostabouts couldn't make it, but uh, unfortunately... We're having fun, know. though. Yo, They're yeah. lost. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, it'd be such a cacophony because everyone oh would God. want to speak oh, at yeah. once. <laughs> That's what our practices are like, too. Yeah. And yeah. You, you, you give one cocktail to Susan, forget it, we would have to leave the room because she'd probably talk to <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. She says she's shy, but she's not shy. So, no, what, um, what is her cocktail of choice? She's a wine red drinker. Wine. She likes red wine. Ooh. She likes good oh, red wine. Oh, she gets the good red wine, yeah, she too. she good stuff, yeah. Yep. yeah. She's and hey, Susan, wine. if you're listening, do you know there's a wine out there called Ravenswood, and it has ravens on the bottle? Yeah. Oh. Uh, she probably does. Yes. Yeah, she also has a, got a beautiful voice, and she's oh, yeah. a, a a pianist herself. She yeah. she plays classical piano, and um, and she sings in her choir uh, at church, and she does different shows, and so um, and yeah. she's very active in her community as well. I just want to let nice. other people know about a little bit of history of the other uh, oh, Rostabouts, you know. Oh well, yeah, and she plays Jingle Bells too. She, she plays, plays jingle the Jingle bells. bells. I just bought her bells today. I so. know you All said. Right. Yeah. Oh, is that why you had to leave here and go to Guitar Center? Yeah, and then I want to buy in this kit. <laughs> oh, is that why it was in your car? Just had to. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I go in there and I leave more than what I should, so. Yeah. I have to be careful when I go to music around. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. Everything in my studio next door like we're all is guilty from music that. around. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I go in there. I have a friend in there, and they were having a drum sale. I mean, this is normally, this kit is a glitch. Uh, it's normally 1500 I got it for like. Six. Hey, we There's need, other pieces to it. You, know. you need to get nice. reimbursed for that ad plug right there. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> if you're listening out there. So. And, uh, oh, I'll hit him up in a couple I'm of weeks. I'm sure you right will. <laughs> and then, yeah. of course, Ed Downs. I don't have a lot of uh, history on him, but I know he's played a couple bands. And um, he's real passionate about his playing, his blues and stuff yeah. like that. He's got good feeling. He's, he's got, got good, good heart feeling. on yeah, his he's, playing. He's, yeah. he's, and he's disciplined. I, yeah. And I like that about him. Um, and Laura, like I said, uh, she's been playing guitar since she was little. And she put it down for the longest time. So one Christmas I bought her one, mm-hmm. uh, an electric acoustic, and uh, out of a pawn shop. 
I said, you're going to play this again. <laughs> this is before we create the roustabouts. Mm-hmm. You want to, music is something you got to have in your life. It makes you live longer. Right. You know, it's like a flower that, that you want you to water, it just grows and mm-hmm. so pretty. And uh, I said, you need to water your talent. So she started playing and um, she always puts herself down saying she's not an ad to the band, but Ooh, I think she's a she's very fantastic. good ad. Yeah. Actually, she, she plays Marie's the name on one of these um one of these uh, songs that we have on the CD. She helps kind of fill in that little spot that's missing. Yeah, and, and she plays that. the acoustic on that, and I think you should play that one, because that's one and of her With all of her songs. energy in the band, too. That's a big thing. And she's that's smart. She, yeah. she always comes up with ideas. She should sing. Yeah. She should. But you know how she feels about that. I know. <laughs> Laura, you, know you know should well? sing. <laughs> yeah. Laura. Yeah, so Marie's the name is the, is the right, song. All right, I got it. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, here you go. Jeez. Up on my guy right here, just a little tiny bit when he does those beats. I appreciate that. Let me hear you a little bit. All right, all right, all right. We went that, that, we went, we went that, that road, okay? Like all that. So this song, uh, I think you'll know, it's been on the radio, it's a pop song, kind of one of my good songs. How you doing? All right. What's up, dog? Whew. Nice to see you. Uh, glad you guys came out tonight. And this one is uh, featuring Laura uh, Whitlock on guitar. We go something like this. Here we go. Very nice. I hear, I hear everything. <laughs> you hear everything? I we do. know when we do a, a little, it's called the, the flubber. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's an accent. It's an accent. It's a jazz it's a, chord. It's, it's an a, improvisation. No, it's a Jersey oh. accent. So it's like, what the? Mm. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Goodness. Forget about it. All right, we got time for one more. This two hours went really fast. So, guys. So, we, that's one thing you got to say about that, too, is that when we're playing that song, we have a little act that we do behind her. And the first time we did that, oh, God, yeah. she could I not. freaked out. I saw she it. didn't know what was going on I, behind I, her. I, I, I was and it was Laura's, little, uh, Laura's secret that we all come up behind her like we're and listening all, in. All like Because she kind of ducks down when yeah, she does this, when, like she's talking to the audience. Out. But we're like behind her listening. Well, so and I turn she, around 
And she's looking at all of us with these faces on her. Like, and she could not. I mean, she was like trying not to laugh into the mic while shit's going on. Oh, I was laughing so hard. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was good. Nice. I was laughing very, very hard. Yeah, so we'll so. do a little things behind her just yeah. to kind of. Some she knows about, it. some she doesn't. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I should bring my video camera. Uh huh. Yeah. So how about All Shook Up? Can we do that one? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I think that's All Shook Up. I'm hoping it is. I'm not sure. You may have mis- mislabeled yeah, it. Maybe. All right, if it's not, we'll just stop and come back and we'll pick something up. Mm-mm. Okay. We're just. <laughs> We're just gonna. Like I said, I just. I this is the way it goes today. on stage too. It's so much different. That's about right. it. Yeah. Well, here. Uh, it's something we'll just go. Never for mind. It. Here's <laughs> maybe, maybe not. All shake up. Here's the one for you. One of my biggest records. Goes like this. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now they're not just faking out Kelly, they're trying to fake me out too. <laughs> Welcome to I'm trying my to give club. you a full experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You're always a little off balance. It's okay. Yeah. 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 I really enjoyed having you guys in tonight. Thank I'm gonna you thanks. so much thanks for, for inviting us. us. Yeah. I'm going to have to massage my jaw bones because they're really hurting. <laughs> I just want to put a holler out there to um, our soldiers. You know, I'm very, uh, you know, men overseas and my son in law. And in the Air Force. Women so, overseas. I was going to just say that, okay. but give me a chance here, okay? <laughs> and women overseas, Kelly, because Kelly is in the military, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and uh, God bless America. Mm-hmm. There's no other better country in the world is, than the USA. Uh, just coming back from Europe a couple months ago, and I liked it. It was nice, but nothing like the good USA. And I want to thank all the soldiers for giving us our freedom. You're here. Hallelujah. Amen. I was a Navy nurse, so that's, I can say that. You can say that. <laughs> yeah. How'd that work for you? I loved it. Were you on a boat? A ship? Uh, thank you. No, boats <laughs> go under the water. I tried. Women weren't allowed on boats at that point in time. Yeah. Boats so, go under the water? Yeah, they're what? submarines. So ships are on the water. Right. Ships are bigger than boats, but boats don't go underwater. Submarines go underwater. They're called boats. Really? It's a big, it's a Navy culture thing. So anyway, okay. and I'm, I'm, now I'm terrified. That's a secret thing. Now I'm terrified. Like my song list, this is a boat. You see? <laughs> anyway, I yes, I was on a hospital ship. I was on uh, three carriers. I was on a fast frigate. Yeah. I, I was, I, I like land, but I love the water. Yeah. So. And uh, oh. just another thing, uh, you know, uh, you know, like I said, Elvis was also a gospel rhythm and blues person. And those of you who didn't know this, but uh, the three Grammys he ever won were for gospel only with thousands and thousands of hits that he had. And that's because he loved the Lord, like I do. So that's, I'm very passionate about that. So thank you, God, for my talent. I really should have had the video camera gone because you got the whole lip thing she going. She does too. have yeah. a lip thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, even she does when, a little lip thing. Even and, when she's just talking, she's just got the... See, my lip's on the other side, though. 
<laughs> she can do it on both sides. Sometimes. <laughs> After a little wine. Wine, yeah. All right, December 13th, at Lanny's Clock Tower. That's right. Christmas show. That's right. Make sure y'all get out there. Yeah, that's right. See and thank you again, guys, for coming in. We're going to have to do this again. Thank you, Rock and Raven. Cool. You Thanks. are the Very best. Because yep. we've got so many other songs You are the, going you are the coolest radio host person I've ever talked with. This and I've been on Q105, and you are the best. Thank you. you are. Thank you. I appreciate you that. Much. All right. So tune in next week. And uh, don't forget, only you can make your dreams come true. That's our show for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll be back. Raven on the Rock is brought to you by Rock and Raven Productions and The Scoop 303. I'd like to give a shout-out to our musical credits for our intro, The World Famous Johnsons, our exit, Garco, and our Raven Raps commercial by Michael Hornbuckle. I'd like to thank Eli Local Littleton for sponsoring us, and you can check out all our advertisers on the left side of our website, ravenontherock.com. I'd also like to thank all the amazing musicians in Denver and around the world for sharing their music with us. 